All right, here we go, guys, and we're back at the 2023 Florida Boat Show, specifically the Stewart and St. Petersburg shows, and today we're going to look at four models, 21 feet and under. Uh, those models are from Crestliner, Sportsman, Bulls Bay, and Grady White, and a little different this time. I am going to put them in the order that I think they were priced, so when I looked at the titles of my clips i saw these four brands and i put them in the order i thought they'd be you know priced surprisingly that bulls bay 20 is cheaper than the first boat we're going to look at which is that crestliner 18 that i included if you saw my insane boat prices at florida boat shows video it was one of the four that made that list at about forty thousand for an 18 foot really bare bones aluminum boat so we're going to start with that one and then i'll come back at the end and offer you my thoughts on these four models, which I would pick and why. All right, John Skinner, where the heck are you? A 2022 Crestliner C18 Bay, an aluminum boat, Mercury 90 horsepower, with a caravan trailer, 43,775. And yeah, I mean, this is like an updated Skinner boat. Little console up there, some room for your batteries on the side or inside the console, pardon me. Three rod holders on each side, a little leaning post here. A seat there while you're fishing swivels around. Wide boat, lots of room, splatter finish, easy to clean up. That's bolted down or strapped down, pardon me, so somebody can sit up there. You can put your drinks up there. Got huge uh, index storage here, more index storage there. Another seat up here if you want to fish off the bow and sit down. Uh, you can sit while you're fluke fishing, Skinner. Um, I don't know about the price, though. <laughs> uh, looks like it's, it's pre-plugged for... I don't know what this is. I presume this is this is something power for your uh, trolling motor. My presumption, don't attack me in the comments if I'm wrong. You could somehow put a trolling motor up here too, although it'd be a little, little awkward. Yeah, I mean, I, I presume that's what this is. Um, up, down, trim. Yep, this is... Uh, this is an interesting boat. I don't know about 43,000. Some flip up seats here. Again, not in use. Step on these, use it as a casting platform. This thing must fly with a, uh, with a 90 on it. The description mentioned this is salt water ready. So, this is where we know the lunacy has started, where a really plain Jane aluminum boat is selling for this much. Excuse the wind, guys. I'm going to try to turn my head and shelter us from the wind. Okay, apologies. It's not 43,375. It's 39,990. So it's a 40 grand boat. Then a Crestliner C18 day. This might very well be the least expensive boat I've seen in the 20 or above range. 39, uh, 36,995 is the boat show price with a Suzuki 140. Let us step on, take a quick look. There's a Bulls Bay 20 footer. We looked at this last year. I actually think it was more expensive last year, but I think that one had a hard top. This one has a bimini top. It's okay. You're not going to run out of storage on this, though. Look at that. Oh, I see one thing I don't like, that this anchor locker opens the wrong way. I hate this. Why? Oh, actually, my bad. That's the right way. Um, ton of storage on here. You, you got this uh, non-skid also, if you're up here. Well, I don't know if that's a sign of the quality. The spring broke. Little tension spring. There's a massive box up here. Box on each side, too. Got a little spot up here if you want to uh, sit down. Is there a. Uh, yeah. 
little live well up here too. A couple of rod holders on the side, three on each side. Obviously, that won't work with the uh, bimini up, but if the bimini is not up, sim rod screen, mechanical control, a 20 footer for under 40K. Not going to be finished like a higher end brand, but if you're looking new, get on the water cheap. Lots of casting platforms, lots of storage. For a budget boat, it's going to be hard to beat this. One of the most beloved brands here, Pioneer. This is their 20 footer, 70 grand at the show. With a Zook 200. Just a absolutely rabid, loyal fan base on these boats. The owners love them. Comment on my videos all the time. Did you see Pioneer there? See some sea deck here with the boarding ladder. And yeah, this is a, uh, they are maximizing the 20 foot space they have with seating here, access to your pumps there. This could be a battery compartment. No, it's a little live. Well, it's nice. Plastic hinges, again, 70 grand. Cooler spot. It, uh, ties in one two three four rod holders here five across the top you got a couple kingfish rod holders that's nice you got a a soft top not a fiberglass hard top again look at the price flip up bolster seats that's nice basic little dash area your zoo gauge is here your switch is here bennett trim tabs here mechanical controls here And a giant box here so they because usually on boats this small you don't put not that i can open this but there it goes uh you don't put a lot of index storage or any so they've opted instead of the twin seats they've opted for one big sun pad area and they give you a lot of storage under here which again for a 20 footer you don't usually see they do have backrests if you want to lay down there's your anchor locker it opens the right way cup holders up here yeah, could do a lot worse than a Pioneer. Nifty little boat. I'm sure she'll scoot with a 200. Little electronics box up here too. I didn't notice that. There is a, a head area too. Yeah, so not gel coated. There's a shower there though. Electronics are covered behind, or the back of the electronics are covered behind a curtain. And uh, there's, your waist is right there. So. You do have a little room, unless it's the fresh water, apologies if it is, there's a pump there too. You do have room to stick a little portable head in here. Again, they're maximizing the features on a 20 footer. All right, let's see what's next. Right, we're stepping onto the Sportsman 211. My buddy Nick has this boat. I actually test drove it and the video was corrupted. <laughs> it's got it in Greenport. This is the Heritage model with the back seating here, casting jack, storage under each, 150 Yamaha, boarding ladder there, four rod holders here, four more on top, right across. Flip up bolster seats here. A couple small Garmin screens. Mechanical control. What's the price on this? 74805 21 footer. A couple rod holders and a cup holder there. You got this forward seating. You got a little bit of storage up there. You got this cooler here. Put your drinks and food. More storage under here. I like again. I love this, although it is snapped there. Um, and it's snapped here. Dang it. Well, it's just two snaps, but there's storage under each. Be nice if the snaps were in here, but that's not a big deal. It's a little quibble. Let's see what we got under here. A little pitch well or a little place to to put your cold bait. A little head compartment here. You can fit a porta potty in here. And there is uh no, that's the propeller box. But you could put a small porta potty here. Not bad for the price. 
uh, electronics box up here too. Nice vantage point. You said high on these. I noticed that when I drove Nick's boat. Good riding boats too. Well, let's see what we got next. It's a 250 Yamaha four stroke sitting on a 218 Adventure. These are the old overnighters. So I grew up fishing on one of these boats, the old 20 foot Grady White overnighter and one of the very few true walk arounds I've seen at this boat show. These are surprisingly good riding boats for their size. Price is 168, uh, 169, 872. Not the, not ideal, but um, you got a small family. You got a wife that wants to come fishing with you, but also wants some protection. Here you go. Got a nice little cabin in here. You could put a porta potty under that cushion, that middle cushion. A couple kids can sleep here, no problem. A couple of adults can squeeze here. One adult will have no issue sleeping here. And it's a true walk around. I mean, you can go right up this step, walk around the boat, fish off the bow. Got a rod holder here, rod holder there, two on each side actually, apologies. You could add rod holders up here, none on here right now. You got life vest storage here, digital uh, throttle. Not much in the way of electronics on this one. Looks like these seats turn around. They're also the bolster type seats, which is nice. You got storage under here, storage under there. You got rear seating here. You got uh, coolers under each side. You got two cup holders. You got your wash down here. This is just, they still make this. And as more and more boat builders get away from making their smaller brands and get, get away from the walk around market in its entirety, it's refreshing to see Grady is still making one, um, albeit, you know, 170 grand. But hey, if you have the money and you're looking for something like this, it's it's one of the very few options out there. And as promised, I'm back to let you know what I would pick and why. And I'm going to break it out into two categories. If you were giving me any of these four boats, I would take that Grady. Uh, not really a walk around fan, but I really like that boat. Compact in size, tons of storage, tons of fish box area, and that little nice cabin that you can escape from on a hot day and take a nap. I, I, again, I wouldn't pay 170 grand for it, but if somebody were giving it to me or if somebody was offering me any one of these four boats, that's the one I would take. And if I had to pick one that I would buy, it'd probably be that Pioneer. Uh, just nice fit and finish for its size. And I, I just like the layout of it a little more than that Sportsman. It would come down to those two. That Bulls Bay is a great value. But, you know, I'm not so sure about the fit and finish. And I'm not so sure about what headaches you'd have down the line if, you know, they can't get a, a, a just a spring in a fish box, right? It makes you wonder what else could go wrong down the line. Those are my opinions. Let me know in the comments which you would pick and why and maybe make it fun. And if you were given one, which one would you take? And if you had to buy one, which of these four would you buy? Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.